Hey YouTube, you are not going to believe this. Um, I didn't get uh, keyed into this until a couple of days ago, but we have had some real, real problems out here with uh, coyotes. Man, the coyotes are going nuts out here. Tonight is the second night I have had to... Uh, had to get out of bed between 1 and 4 a.m. and shoot one. I missed this last one, but uh, man, they're bound and determined to kill my pets and get on this land. Never seen anything like this. And all the time I've been here, and I've been through a lot of full moon cycles here when they would roam, you know, there never were that many, but there are so many on the prowl right now that they are packing up and down this street. They're fighting with every dog and cat and everything else they can come across. And then I went over on YouTube to uh, Do It Yourself World, the Off Grid Camper Projects channel, and apparently we're not the only ones having these problems. Um, he almost lost his entire chicken house to, th to a huge pack of coyotes that were divided up into three groups on his pasture uh, out in his meadows where he's staying. I talked to my mother, and um, she said that uh, she was having real problems with them. They were joining up in these mega groups, and they were roaming up and down the uh, countryside, and they were after her chickens. So something in the last three days, I don't know what it is, but they have gotten really super active. I mean, strangely super active. Um, I've rarely, if ever, had coyotes come up in here, but, man, they're doing everything they can. It's really weird. And I wonder if, if something's going to happen that we don't know about. It's kind of hokey or kind of spooky if you think about it, but uh, they're usually afraid of people, but they aren't now. It's weird. They, uh, they're not backing down as easily as they usually would. And uh, last night... I had one come up the back path and uh, got up on the porch and was trying to kill the cat. And uh, then this morning, about uh, 2 o'clock, 2 or 3 o'clock, I started hearing things out there and heard noise on the porch. The son of a bitch was up on the porch. Another one. I killed the one uh, last night. He didn't get too far away. But I missed the one tonight. He ran off down the street. And if you don't get you don't get them on that first shot, you ain't gonna get a second shot. But uh, yeah, it's just really weird, man. The coyotes are scavenging like crazy, and they are not afraid. It's the oddest thing I've ever seen. So about the only thing that that uh, gets them away is is uh, using your weapon. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. It's almost like a bunch of packing dogs. You know, you get dogs in packs, they don't get afraid of people, but, uh, and we do have that out here, too. I do wonder where my tax dollars that I pay on this property are going when there aren't any animal control officers down here keeping this under control, you know. I bought the, uh, bought the guns and bought the ammo to defend the house, not to verminate, and it costs, man. When you pop off a thirty thirty or you pop off a thirty two. That's almost a dollar a shot every time you pull the trigger. Maybe a little more depending on what kind of load you get for the 3030. But uh 32 ammunition is round is uh hard to come by. I have a 357, but uh it's populated. I don't need that bullet going way off out there and killing somebody that I'm not intending for. So I don't use the 357 out here for any kind of vermin tasks. That's that's for home defense. But uh, rarely do I pull that 357. I usually just use my 32. And I'm thinking about retiring it and going with a 38. But uh, right now I don't have the money to blow on a new pistol. So use what you have, you know. But uh, yeah, we are overrun. I don't know what the hell's going on, but we are overrun with coyotes. Uh, in the last week, we have had a ton. As like I said, they aren't afraid of anything. Uh, usually you can scatter them out with one shot from your gun and they're gone, you know, once you kill the offending party or run them off. 
but uh, it's it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. They usually you don't see them. I've I've rarely seen them, but the last three nights I can I could stand out there and I could watch them coming up the street. That's how crazy it's gotten. It's just it's odd. It's like I said, I've lived out here now for a little over a year, and I've lived all around Texas. I lived in Newton for a while, you know. And I've seen coyotes, but I've never seen them like this. It's it's really odd, you know. Maybe they know that something harsh is coming. I don't know, but they're, they're packing up like crazy. And uh, these ones here, you can hear them coming because they're fighting with every dog. Every group of dogs they come past, they get in a fight with them. It's really odd. You know, it's really odd. As like I said, it's the first time they've ever gotten up on my porch and tried to kill my cat. You know, and there are a lot of them out here. So, I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on.